Hi, I'm Michelle Matson, and this is Rich Chick TV. And today we are cooking up your financial future in the crock pot. Why are we talking about the crock pot today? Well, what's the point of the crock pot? For me, having a crock pot is all about putting a bunch of ingredients into it in the morning, ignoring it all day long, and coming home and having a great, delicious meal for my family. And that's how we want your investment portfolio to work as well. So today we're gonna cook up a little meal and um, talk about how that relates to your investments. So we're starting, this is a very simple recipe, and we are starting with chicken. It's a chicken and rice casserole. So I have my chicken, it's already been browned. This is my, um, this is my tribute to the Food Network and all the cooking shows that I love to watch. So I have my pre-browned chicken, and it's going into the crock pot, and we're just gonna slide it all in there because I'm impatient. So, we've got the chicken, and then next we're supposed to mix together all of our other ingredients. So we have some rice that we're putting in our bowl, and we have some cream of mushroom soup, which is the staple of pretty much any crock pot meal. So we're going to put that in there, and my kids are going to find out that there's mushrooms in the soup, and they're going to make faces, but once it cooks, they're never going to know they're there. So. On cooking shows, I never really realized that it takes a while to scrape out a can of stuff. So if you get bored with my scraping, that's okay. But we're really putting in all the ingredients, and that's how your portfolio is. That's how we want our portfolio to work. We want to put in the right ingredients at the beginning of the day, or when we first get our investment portfolio started, and then we want to, oh, this doesn't look that good right now, but that's okay, it'll look better later. And then we want to, you know, make sure we have the right ingredients and then they're going to cook up and grow and become what we want them to be at the end of the day. So if the, if the time that you're cooking away from your um, crock pot is like your investment time horizon, there's really not much you have to do if you get the ingredients right at the beginning. So we've got all of our ingredients, well we've got some of our ingredients in here. We've got to add some more water because it's going to cook down and then you know, sometimes when you're crock pot cooking, you maybe you go to work and you don't touch it for the rest of the day, but eventually you probably have to come back, maybe stir it. We're going to put some salt and pepper in. And then, um, you know, stirring your crock pot and coming back throughout the day and checking on it is kind of like what you might want to do when you're rebalancing your portfolio or just making sure that no one ingredient is taking control of the portfolio per se. So, you know, you don't want any one asset class when you're in your investment portfolio to grow beyond where it should be in your, in your allocation if you have a well-diversified portfolio. And the same is true for your crock pot. You know, sometimes it cooks down, you need more water, you have to rebalance a little sometimes. So basically, that is our whole meal. It doesn't, there weren't a lot of ingredients, it's not the most complicated recipe I've ever made, but Hopefully, we're going to cook this up, and at the end of the day, we're going to have the meal that's going to feed our family, and it's going to be healthy-ish and delicious, and um, that's how you want your portfolio to work, too. You want to set it and forget it. We want to fix it and forget it with our investment portfolio, just like we want to fix it and forget it with our crock pot. Be sassy, get savvy, and grow rich. Have a great day.